Hey everyone, welcome to Abstract Boss. So today I am gonna be working with my alcohol inks on ceramics, and I'm actually gonna show you guys how I do my geode style coasters. So stay tuned and let me know if you have any questions. All right, so the first thing you wanna do, you wanna make sure that your coasters are clean. Um, so the next thing that you wanna do is make sure that you have all your colors out. So I had these other colors out because I started to do a geode and I did not like it actually. <laughs> I thought the colors didn't really go very well together for me personally. Um, so I stopped and I'm re-recording now. So I'm gonna try a different type. I'm gonna try the coral color along with, um, or salmon in this case, salmon, which is from the um, Ranger inks and the gray, which is from the pinata inks the white from the pinata inks, and then along with these, I'm gonna do the silver from the pinata inks. So everything's pinata, 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 except for the salmon, which is the ranger inks. And the next thing that you wanna do, I had these cups ready, just, um, you wanna have them set aside, so that way you have your colors ready, and that way you don't have to worry about too much or anything like that. And then have a couple paint brushes. Doesn't really particularly matter. I'm using an angled paint brush just because I think that one's kind of one of the easier ones to use. But I also have a pokey one that you can use. Um, I'm just gonna leave them in this little little jar of alcohol right there. And everything is clean. So then what you want to do, like I said, make sure everything is ready. So I took my saran wrap off my gray, and I'm taking it off of my silver. This does work as long as it doesn't tear when you're putting the cap back on. If it tears, then the alcohol ink's still gonna leak out. And I've noticed that with anything, unless they're standing up straight. So that kind of really sucks because I don't have more of this size bottle to be able to put them in. Oh my goodness, the sun's not opening. There it goes. So open them up, have them ready. Opened. And this one still has a little bit left in it. So I'll open this one first. Open. And then you can just pour them straight into the cup. Okay, so that one's a goner now. And then do some silver. Do some of the gray. And it is a dark gray, but it turns out really cool on here. And then, oh, that one's dirty. There we go. And then some white. So I just do a few drops so that way you could work with it. And then what you want to do is take your brush and take your first color. I'm going to start with my gray and I'm going to make my outline by starting and just doing a squiggly line. So you just squiggle up and down, up and down, up and down as you go across and notice how um, it goes from darker to lighter. Now this is just because it's not clean well, I guess. I thought I cleaned it, but what ifs. Um, so that'll, once that dries, I'll be able to cover that. And then you just keep going back and forth. So now you can come back the other way, do some dark down here, and it'll fade off into light, or you can stop, like it's really up to you. But the more lines that you're able to do, the cooler it's gonna look. So you wanna keep working it down I'm gonna keep doing that back and forth. It's okay if you miss a couple spots. Don't worry about going back into it just yet. And then once you're satisfied with the length, you can fill these in, just adding a couple lines and it just creates more texture and more depth by dragging your brush through the alcohol ink. I didn't even add any extra alcohol onto that. Now, the next thing you wanna do is go ahead and grab your other paintbrush for your secondary color, which I'm doing the salmon, which looks kind of like a coral color. And I'm just gonna do a small line right along the edge here, just to give it an extra little standout color besides like the silver, you know? And there we go. We'll add more lines into that once it gets, oh, that gray's gonna come into it, there we go. We'll add more lines into that once it dries a little bit more. Um, because that's going to end up being a lot more vibrant. I love, 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 love the salmon once it gets on there. And then you can go into your next color. So I'm going to stick with the silver 
with the gray. You can always have your napkin ready, alcohol ready, also to be able to wash whatever you need to. And then drag your silver along. And it's going to pull into your other inks just a lot like um, a watercolor would. And that, personally, I think is a really cool thing. You know what, gold might even look better in this. That's funny, i am like been on a gold kick lately, ironically enough. Yeah, actually I think gold would look better. So I'm gonna switch it, do some gold instead. So let's go ahead and clean this up really quickly. You can take some of the alcohol with a paintbrush to help clean that up. There we go. And I'll keep that on the video for you guys so you can see how I clean those things. Um, now that coral is kind of disappearing now, so I'm going to go ahead and do a little bit more coral before I do my gold. Now we can do the gold, which is closer to coral, so I'm gonna use my coral brush. Okay. I hope you guys are enjoying the sounds of nature <laughs> as I paint. Got my birds whistling in the background. Not really my birds, but you know, they hang out in my yard, so of course they're mine. And then you just want to do that same thing. Just drag across. Everything is going to be done in multiple layers. So you don't want to worry too much about what is going on with it for that first layer. You just kind of want to get it laid down. And then I'm going to start with my gold over here on this side and try to do maybe some more squiggles. So just kind of play it by sight, by whatever you prefer, because you are the artist. And then as I fill this in, you can add a little bit more. Just don't forget the alcohol inks dry very quickly, so you wanna move on the faster side. And then I don't wanna add any more coral or anything that's right on the outside of this gold until that gold has a chance to dry a little bit more. Because if you do, then um, it'll pull into it and you don't want that to happen. So we wanna wait, let's go back to our gray or something. And since this one has a gray that's gonna be right next to the gold, I'm gonna go ahead and do this one with a little space down here. There we go, let me pull that in just a bit more. And you could do all four of these at the same time too. Um, I just didn't want the tutorial to be super long. So I'm gonna do a couple of these and then, or one of these with talking, and then the rest is gonna be a timeline our time lapse thing. There we go. So I'm gonna leave that really dark gray. Oh, I love it, I love it, I love it, I love it. And then down here, I'm gonna do, this gray is gonna be right next to it again, but I'm gonna leave a little bit of a space. I can come back and do that gray whenever it dries. Just do some small strokes, keep going across, add it on in there, okay? Simple, easy peasy, right? And if you notice, this is fully dry now. So now I can come back into here with just that wet brush, the wet with alcohol ink but not soaked, and add more lines into the design. And that alcohol ink will kind of reactivate and give it that depth. It looks so cool. I personally love it so, so much. It's one of my favorite ways of working with the alcohol inks. And then now, this one's pretty dry. Nope, not quite yet. Okay, we'll wait just a little bit longer on that one. And then, let's see, let me go back into my coral brush. I think that was the coral brush, huh? That's funny. One of those days, I've been so scatterbrained. Okay, and then take that salmon corally color. Now we can come right back on in here and add those lines. Make it a lot more vibrant. And it doesn't have as much 
place to go since we've got the gray and the gold on both sides now. Okay, so let's let that dry now. Come over here, get this one, and just keep doing a bunch of lines. Don't try to fill it all at once. Just keep doing a bunch of lines, and that's gonna give it that texture, that visual texture. I gotta say, maybe one of my favorite words in painting is texture, because I realize I say it a lot. <laughs> Look at that, oh, that's pretty. Okay, let it dry. Let's see, I kinda like having that white there unintentionally. So here's what I'm gonna do, I have that white alcohol ink. Oopsie, that's already dry too. So what happens when you wait too long. So add a couple more drops. Grab the brush, let's take that white and brush it right along. And it mixes in with that gray just a bit. Ooh, I love it, I love it, I love it. Okay, let's put that gold back in there too because that gold is looking a little lonely. Needs a little action. Filling up the space. Gold's starting to dry too. That's why I only do just a couple drips into it. Okay, so now that that's done, blah, 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 tongue tied, um, what I'm just gonna keep doing is spreading it out. So like I mentioned, with the blank brush, you can dip into it if you want, you just don't want a lot of um, ink on it. So you just wanna make sure that you're dragging through. If it's pulling up too much and you don't like that, then just add a little bit of ink to it. But if you like this effect, then you just keep going with your strokes, go back and forth both ways to create that visual texture. Okay. And I'm gonna add a little bit back into there. So let's see, there we go. Just do a couple lines, randomize it, make it pretty. Okay, and then let's go back over to, ah! I meant to wash that and then go into the coral, but that didn't work. Okay, I got excited. So now it's kind of an orangey color, interesting. It happens. If you guys have been a part of my channel, you'll know I really go with a lot of my mistakes. I love what Bob Ross says, there are no mistakes, only happy little accidents. I go through that a lot. Um, I think that's actually one of my favorite mantras whenever I'm teaching people is there are no mistakes, only happy little accidents. Because people stress too much about imperfections and really in art, there is nothing that is perfect. And so I think that it's very important to say that there are no mistakes because it's art. So stop worrying and let yourself be creative and give yourself permission to screw up. <laughs> Cause it's okay. Ooh, it's looking pretty too. Okay, let's go back in here. Here, we're gonna add into our gray. Add a bit more. There we go, look at that. All those extra lines on there makes the huge difference to me, I think. I love it, I love it, I love it. And then the last thing that I wanna do on this side, besides adding more coral, cause that's gonna definitely need to be done. Let's add just a touch here. Is adding some more gold. So we'll add, that's dry, get on there. Add some gold right at the edge here. Let that sit and dry. I'm also trying to paint the, the sides too. I'm kind of bad at that with my coasters. You can always come back and leave like a gold side or something like that. But yeah, so this, you guys can see how this is building up though and creating such a beautiful, you come close, there we go. Look at that. So, light kind of sucks too sometimes <laughs> I'm trying I'm trying all right 
grab a little bit more coral, come back through here. Ooh, it's got some gold stuck on it too. It's got some coral and gold right there. Okay. Oh my goodness. This is so pretty. I love it. Okay. Awesome sauce. And maybe add a little bit of streak of white over here. Do you notice how I really did not plan this out? It just kind of goes with the flow. <laughs> Don't worry so much and just enjoy yourself. Have fun. Art is meant to be there to relax, to give you that sanity again which I truly, truly believe in. So don't stress yourself out so much. Maybe gray back here. Just kind of alternating. Do whatever you feel is right. And then I'll probably do these ones very close, very, very close. Um, let's do one more gray and then one more coral over here. There's our gray. Remember, let the first layer dry, then come back in and add lines after it dries. Oop, yep. Coral just kind of took over that gray too. I'll have to come back to that one. You know, one thing I notice about these Ranger inks is they spread a lot, even if you don't have a lot of stuff on there. And so that's kind of an interesting difference. I like the effects of the Pinata inks more than I do the Ranger inks. But the colors of the Ranger inks are gorgeous. I love having like the coral color, um, the really light tealish blue color, like those really make a difference um, for me when it comes to my art and what I'm doing and some of the coasters that I do. It's just gorgeous. But then I could do this on the pinata inks and have a lot more depth. So it's one of those things that you really got to pick what you're looking for and go for it. But if you guys like this video, don't forget to like comment and subscribe. Check me out on Facebook. Message me. Say hey. I love to hear from you guys. I really do. It does not annoy me. So I will hear from you guys later and stay tuned. There we go. And that's it for this first one. So first one's done. I'll time lapse through the rest. Get that closer. Here, let's try to do this. I'm gonna take you guys. What's going on? I'm gonna take you guys to have better lighting. Here we go. That beautiful day outside. I can't even see if that's better lighting. Oh, there it is. Ooh, beautiful. Okay, you can have it any way that you want. Now I'll time lapse through the rest. All right, so here they are. That's the coral, the gray, the gold. Look how beautiful they turned out. Now to clean up these little spots right here, you'll just take some alcohol and a paper towel or something and clean them up. But each one has a different depth and texture and stuff like that, but it's a set. They all go together. So super free and awesome. I love them. <laughs> all right, let me know what you guys think. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And let me know if you guys have any requests. All right, until next time.